Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one who knows the future. He is the only one who knows the unseen. And on a daily basis, we sometimes make or need to make decisions about matters in our life. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in order to find out the khair in any matter that we are about to decide, he prescribed something called Salat al-Istikhara, Dua al-Istikhara. How to pray Istikhara? Two rak'ahs, two rak'ahs other than the fard, huh? any time of the day, you pray these two rak'ahs, it's preferable to do them at night, at the last part of the night when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking what do you want, but any time of the day is, is okay. You pray two rak'ahs, there are no specific surahs to, to be recited, and the dua of istikhara can be made either before the taslim, before you make salam, or after you make the, the salam. If you do not know it by heart, you can read it from uh, the phone or from any, any uh, booklet that you have. Huh? And if you know it by heart, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Now listen to how beautiful is that dua of istikhara. Ya Allah, I ask for, goodne for goodness from your knowledge and I seek strength from your power and I ask you for your greatest blessings. You are able to do anything and I cannot. You know everything and I don't. And you know the unseen. Look at how beautiful is this introduction. Now I start asking, Ya Allah, if in your knowledge, this decision, and I mentioned my issue, whatever I want, if this woman that I want to be married to, if this matter is good for my life in this dunya and in the akhirah, then Ya Allah, make it easy for me and add blessings to it for me. And Ya Allah, if in your knowledge that this matter is not good for my dunya and for my akhirah, Ya Allah, turn it away from me and turn me away from it and make me content with whatever Ya Allah have decreed. Allahu Akbar. Such a beautiful, amazing dua. You have taken all uh, the decision making from your power, from your ability, and you have entrusted Allah Azza wa Jal with that matter. And you have entrusted the one who knows the unseen. Allah knows if that uh, house, that car, that job, that wife, that husband is good for you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will facilitate it for you. Now, there are certain things that we should know about istikhara. Do not make istikhara about a haram matter. I cannot make istikhara, should I drink alcohol or not? There's no istikhara in that, it's haram matter. I cannot make istikhara also about fard. Should I go to hajj or not? Should I pray fast Ramadan or not? There's no istikhara about fard matters. And sometimes someone is in a state uh, that they cannot pray the istikhara, especially our sisters, huh? then they can only make the dua of the istikhara. They could just make the dua by itself and that should be sufficient. So the correct view is that when Allah makes something easy for you, after having decreed it and accepted your dua, this is a sign that the matter is, is good and go ahead with it. And the existence of obstacles and difficulties is an indication that Allah is pushing you away from, from that matter. Is it permissible to repeat al-istikhara more than once? Absolutely, you can make the istikhara more than once. Now, there are some misconceptions about Salat al-istikhara. Number one, many people expect a dream that after they pray istikhara, they are expecting to see a dream. Should they go forward or not? This does none, none of it is mentioned in the sunnah. And like we said before, you will feel things are going good or you feel like things are getting complicated and complicated. 
either this or that. Another misconception is that people think that a sinful person cannot pray istikhara and they should ask a righteous person to pray istikhara for them. This is not true. No one can pray istikhara on behalf of another person. We could make dua for that person. Ya Allah, if uh, my son, uh, if that job is good for him, Ya Allah, make it easy for him. But I cannot pray istikhara on behalf of another person. And also, many people think that istikhara is only for big matters. No, istikhara is for big matters and small matters and medium matters and all kinds of matters. Anytime you are intending to do something, make wudu, pray to rak'ah of istikhara, make the dua after, and ask Allah Azza wa Jal if that matter is good for you or not. Subhanallah. The istikhara is a divine GPS. It's your divine GPS. It guides you to what is best for you. And when you pray istikhara and you took by all the means, then you submit to Allah Azza wa Jal. If these things after that it turned out that that husband was not a great husband, you did your best. That wife was not a good wife. After you find out, after you move together, you did your best and you followed every single step. That means that marriage, uh, that job was a test for you and your patience will be extremely rewarding. So at the end of the day, it's always khair. It's always khair.